más que me gusta la comida que me cocina, lo más que me gusta la café que ya me cuela. Ay. Hi and welcome to another episode of A Gorilla Travels. We are in lovely Cuba and we will take you on a tour around the island, its people, its history and its modern culture. Our starting point of course is the incredible city of Havana. Havana is actually the biggest city in the Caribbean and has a rich history. Before Fidel Castro came into power in 1959 and established a socialist regime in Cuba, it was a mecca for tourists from the United States. The great climate together with the luxurious hotels, clubs, great restaurants and casinos attracted many. Because the US banned all trade with Cuba and also asked its allies to do this, the island suffered a big economic downturn. And as this embargo has never fully been lifted, the country still has a slow economy. Life in contemporary Cuba is thus challenging, given the limited access to food, transportation, electrical power and other necessities. Even so, many Cubans show fierce pride in their revolutionary society, the only one of its kind in Latin America. Many things can be said about the revolution brought on by Castro and Che Guevara. It brought free education and healthcare to people who did not have it before. But also led to many Cubans having to find refuge in the US and being stripped of their belongings. As with any conflict there have been big losses on either side. The history however is interesting and the inaccessibility of the country has made it a special place to travel to. This is why we will also tell you about some of the historic highlights. Beginning with the cars from the 50s you still see everywhere around Cuba and which have become a symbol of the island. The reason why they are still here is simply because they could not easily import cars after communism in Russia died. So they were forced to keep the older cars running. I think you can safely say almost every Cuban knows how to fix a car. As you can see, Havana has many colonial looking buildings. Until Castro took over the island, Cuba was claimed by the Spanish Colombo in 1492 and Spain ruled over Cuba until 1898. So most of the buildings you see were built in this Spanish period. This Spanish influence can still be found all around the island. The fort you see 